34. Things are finally beginning to heat up here in town, and that means spending a lot more time outside. But with higher temperatures come dangers, so for humans and pets, you have to be careful, and here to help us is pet trendologist Charlotte Reed. Welcome back. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. And it's good, good to, to see you. Love you. Yeah. Good to see you again. Okay. <laughs> okay, and this, okay, Ian, you've never met this guy. This no. This guy is a Thai, this and is this Thai. is Charlotte's dog. Say hi, and guys. I, I, I'm in love with this dog, but we have to point out because we're going to talk about keeping your pet cool this summer. And then you have a dog who happens to have a tongue hanging. He has hang tongue, so of course everybody thinks everywhere we travel right. that he's always thirsty. And I have uh -huh. to explain that he has hang tongue. He has hang tongue. He wants to look at me, so I can't get a good hold up. Everyone has to see this dog. Wait, every time I move him, he wants to look at me. Look, look, at, look at this oh. dog. Okay, so you did talk to us, or you are coming in to talk to us about keeping your we pets cool this summer. We want to keep your pet cool, and obviously yes. the first thing is hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Right. But what you want to do is use stainless steel bowls, and I brought the selection from oh. Loving Pets, because stainless steel not only is eco-friendly, you never have to replace it, but stainless steel keeps the water cooler Cold faster. Right. And also, if you look in one of the bowls, you'll see a gobble stopper. Now, you know how people buy those expensive feeding bowls to slow your pet down? Right. That costs $3.99. It's also by Loving Pets, and it keeps your pet oh, eating at an even keel. I have to use that, so and cool. there's some suction. I okay. gotta use that because my dog just basically in, he doesn't even chew; he just inhales. Now, it. what kind of dog do you have? I have a little cockapoo. Okay, so there's one for you to oh, here, one for you to go. The little okay. that. there. That's okay. the little one. So for you. next up, it's very okay. also very important to have a hydrating diet. Mm -hmm. So I brought a Chicago favorite. It's Avengers. It's uh -huh. a family-owned business here. Now, the most important thing about Avengers is. They source all of the ingredients for their food within 50 miles of the Chicago area. Oh, that's nice. Like that. Right, I except like that. for their fish, which of course they have to bring in. Sure. But they've got duck and sweet potato, mm. braised meat, and they've got great against the grain for your cats, nice wet food for your cats. And they have a new diet that I love. It's high bio. It's a semi-moist food mm -hmm. because when your dog is traveling, he's stressed mm -hmm. and you want to have a little extra moisture. Remember how we used to all do the Avion spritz back in yes. the day right, right. and eat like lots of nice salads and everything. Yeah. So the wet food is really good in the summer because right. it already has the water and the moisture and it and hydrates a little duck better. Orange. Right. right. It, lo it looks like something we would, I mean, honestly, that looks like chunkies or, you know, some, I mean, it's unbelievable how these animals eat. It, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, look at this chicken Polynesian, chicken Mayfair. Right. I mean, you know, you they never know. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you can eat that because it's all natural and low sodium. Oh my okay. Your next okay. diet. Okay. okay. <laughs> so right. next up, the dog food diet. We've right. got, you know, every t this time of the year, we're always worried about flea and tick bites. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Adams has a new Adams Flea and Control spot on for dogs. So what I love about it is, if you can look right down here, you'll see the ins the special applicator. Mm -hmm. And you actually put the flea and tick product in the applicator, you smush it down like mm -hmm. so, and then you push this blue little <gasps> door, and then you have to actually have it as the pet is standing up, right. and you apply it by smushing to different areas of the pet's body. That's so much My easier. My dog's had one, by the way. Yeah. Right. And actually what's nice about it is it's very inexpensive. You can pick up for free the special like award-winning shield at Walmart when you purchase and it's offered in one, three, and six month supplies. And not only does it kill the flea and ticks, uh -huh. but it kills the larva. So your house wow. is not gonna become infested. So it's just really, fantastic. really yeah. cool and repels mosquitoes because heartworm is very you know, mosquitoes are caused right. by heartworm yes. for dogs and cats. Now okay. next stop Mm -hmm. Every dog has a coat, and you want that coat to work as well as possible. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep it clean. I love this EpiPet shampoo. It's developed by a veterinarian in um, Sarasota, Florida. And what's great about it is it cleans, it deodorizes, but it's also anti-yeast and anti-fungal. Mm. So when you're going to the beach here, or in this case we're in the Midwest, going to the lake, it really, that anti-fungal, anti-yeast components uh -huh. really keeps that skin in good condition okay like now good. a lot of people do not know and mm -hmm. I'm sure you do because you're a doctor <laughs> sunscreen is a drug mm -hmm. and it has to be approved for authorization and sale by the FDA so dr. Fleck who makes the EpiPet sunscreen also makes this sunscreen the sun protector and what I love about it mm -hmm. it's in a sports bottle so you can spray your pet oh <laughs> right he's like, like well I'm not going outside <laughs> because it's in a sports bottle uh-huh you can spray no undercarriage, very oh, easily. I like that. Now, would even a dog with that much fur need um, yes. sunscreen? Yes. Oh, and so you rub it on. And okay. because they're going to get sunscreen on the tip of their ears, their nose, and also their undercarriage. Ah. 
and you apply it just like you apply human sunscreen. So if they're on the concrete, you know, the sun reflects on the concrete, mm -hmm. the water, the beach, all, even if you're driving in the car, right. the sun gets through. Okay. We never talk about sunscreen for dogs. This is, I mean, this yeah. is... Well, I have to tell you, so many of your colleagues always mention sunscreen for pets, but they don't do their research. Right. Mm. And they don't know that there's an FDA-approved sunscreen. They always recommend a natural sunscreen, or some even recommend zinc oxide, which is very, very dangerous for cats. So for all those vets out there, <laughs> definitely... And it's seventeen ninety five. The best part, it's in the sports bottle. Yeah. So, so take, you take it, it with you. Everywhere. Just spray the whole family. Okay, you, we're Last running out of time. Not, What's this cooling mat? Cooling mats are great. They're mm -hmm. not very expensive. They're fifteen dollars because, as you know, the pets get older. It's nice and cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't want to sleep in the beds. Right. The beds maintain body heat, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what you can do with the cooling mat is you can shove it in your dog's bed like so to right. keep him cooler. Oh look, put it in a crate. You can put it in a crate. Or in my case, I have one older dog and yeah. I put it on the bathroom floor. I keep a night light in there so I don't trip over him at night. <laughs> right, right. But so he's in there and he nice and stays nice and cool. It and also gives that older dog the support he needs yeah, right. for his joints. Okay, Charlotte, awesome. this is all fantastic. We love it. Perfect. Ty, thank you for coming in. Charlotte, thank you for thank coming you back. So much. If you would like more pet safety tips, all you have to do is head to charlottereed.com. Good, good stuff. Great and he seems to really love this mat. He does. Okay, I need this dog. I need this dog.